What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you all 10 tips and tricks to using Procreate as a beginner. Let's go. So I'm just going to start off by drawing a simple heart and you can tell that the lines are a little squiggly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. And then you want to go to your paintbrush at the top. I typically use technical pen, so I'm going to click that and you want to adjust your streamline as well as your stabilization. So I usually bring the amount up pretty high to make sure that my lines are stable and straight. And as you can see in the example here, the lines are much more straight than the last attempt. So on this one, I'm going to show you how to color fill a shape or an object. So we're going to start by drawing the circle. You want to hold it down and it'll create a perfect shape for you. So then you want to click the color panel in the top right corner, choose your color, and then you'll just drag that color from the panel into the object. And it's that simple. So again, just choose your color and drag it from the top into the object. To undo, you want to press down with two fingers, and to redo, you want to do three fingers. Four fingers allows full screen, and sliding down the screen with three fingers allow you to copy and paste. To set up your screen for symmetry, you want to go to the wrench at the top left. Turn on your drawing guide and you want to edit your drawing guide. So on the bottom right, click symmetry and then done. And then from there, whatever you draw will be symmetrical on the opposite side. To warp your text, you want to go to the top left branch. Click add text and then type out your desired text. From there, you want to go to the button next to the wrench, click liquify, and you can adjust the settings. And then from there, you can just manipulate your text. It's currently in the push setting. Um, you can also change to a few different settings. So down here, I'm going to switch over to twirl right. And it just twirls the text for you to the right. And then you also can twirl to the left. And they have a few other options as well. Okay, in this segment, I will be showing you how to shade within a specific object or a shape. So after making your shape, you want to go up to your Layers tab, and you want to click, go down to Reference, and then add an additional layer. You want to go up to the Selection tool, make sure it's on Automatic, and you want to select within the circle and the line. So from there, you want to go to your brush library and go down to whichever shading brush you'd like to use. You can adjust the size and opacity on the left side. So from here, I'm just shading within the circle. Um, and as you can see, it stays within that black bold line. And this is because of the selection tool.
Okay, so this is how you use the eyedropper tool. First, you want to go to the wrench at the top left corner of your sheet. And then you want to go to add. Sorry, it's blurry, guys. Um, you want to go to import a photo. And from there, you just pick whatever photo you want. And you don't have to do it this way. This is just for an example. So um, you want to add a new layer. And so I want my text to be the same color as that red. So what I'm going to do is go to the color palette at the top, hold down my finger on the color that I want to duplicate, and then just go to my brush library and choose a brush and start drawing. So I was able to get the same exact red in the heart. Here's how to turn a solid shape into an outline. So you want to click the button next to the wrench tool, and then you want to click Gaussian Blur. So when you slide it to the right, the percentage goes up with the more blur, and when you go to the left, it goes down. I usually like it right on around 3%. And from there, you want to re-click the button, and then click it again. Go to curves and you just want to uh, bring both corners up and you want to bring both middles down. And just like that, you turned a solid image into an outline. Okay, so for the last tip, I'm going to show you how to merge your layers. So on layer one, I have a butterfly and I'm selecting the parts that I want to manipulate or add shading to. And then I'm just going to repeat this process for the bottom half of the wings. And then once I get it to where I want, if I want to manipulate this shape as a whole, just use your pincher finger or your middle finger as well as your thumb and pinch the layers down together and that will join them into one layer. All right, y'all, so those were 10 tips and tricks to know and procreate as a beginner. If they helped you out, let me know by liking, comment, or subscribing.